during university, um, I used to go around local bars and offer sort of decor advice and putting up drapes and doing bits of upholstery and things like that. I didn't want to work behind the bar, so I wanted to do something more creative. And that became a little industry in itself, and they gave me the opportunity to design a, um, a large-scale bar venue in London, which sort of had the capacity of around a thousand people. Um, and that project was sort of like a big learning curve for me. It was like an intensive training course in design, but on a, on a live project. Yeah. Um, it got lots of accolades, it got lots of awards. Yeah, and that was with Mackie. Yeah, and that was with my partner Mackie at the time, yeah. um, who was, I was at university with. Um, so we then decided to set up an interior design company called Mackie Lee. Yeah. Um, and at that point I was still planning to start my own fashion yeah. label. Um, but had this other business that had grown into a sort of monster and I was kind of like, okay, well, you know, I need to do that instead and fully focus on that. Yeah. Um, we did many bars and restaurants over a period of five years before Mackie left the company and moved back to Japan. Yeah. Um, but our sort of the project just before she moved and just before I launched Neo Neon <coughs> was um, uh, Wembley Stadium and we were asked to not design the whole thing, but to do uh, um, 40 of the corporate boxes. I mean, it yeah. felt like the whole thing. It was an enormous project for such a small company. Um, and we designed uh, interior, bespoke interior furnishings for each of the boxes. And that gave me an opportunity to kind of work with manufacturers on bespoke pieces of furniture. Yeah. Um, and obviously it was good for the company financially. And so I then decided to kind of launch my first furniture range after Mackie left, and that was under my own brand, Lee Broom. So that was Neon Neon. Yeah, still amazed though that you, you go from, from basically doing a few fit outs, or not a few, but you know, let's say what, about five to ten fit outs before you actually get to Wembley yet. Oh god, no, we've done about 25 okay, at so that point. 25 yeah, we've done quite you get to Wembley, you start to work with some. Um, some manufacturers that help you make some bespoke pieces. Mm -hmm. And then you get into Neon Neon, which is quite a remarkable uh, collection. If you have, I'm sure you have seen it here. Yeah. Um, but fluorescent neon lighting yeah. that basically trims um, some beautiful furniture. And, and so that in itself seems like quite a very, uh, quite a, um, an interesting uh, concept to begin with. But you know, yeah. there, there's a lot of, of craftsmanship that. that I would imagine you didn't learn in fashion school necessarily, so how, how did that happen? Well, I mean, I had the idea, and you know, it was sort of for me, it was too good an idea not to do. And um, I've always let's, let's actually start with where that idea kind of originated from in terms of conceptualizing and kind of thinking, ah, oh, this is something I'd like to do. Well, th there was two things. I mean, I'd worked um, on very commercial spaces up until that point, and particularly Wembley was very commercial. So I was just dying to do something that was just me, you know, kind of almost mm -hmm. like a, a folly, really. I didn't care if it sold or not. I just wanted to do an exhibition and a sort of leap room installation. And it was kind of what was in my head. And, you know, if people liked it, fine. If they didn't, it didn't matter because I could just stick all the pieces in my flat afterwards and yeah. be happy. <laughs> but, um, each piece is kind of a standalone piece. Right? Yeah, yeah, they're a bit much wild, together, actually, I must thing. say. Yeah. But <laughs> Um, but, and yeah, the neon thing came about because, um, like I said before, I grew up in theatre and, you know, in theatre it's kind of all about lights and sort of lots of neon and, um, and I was kind of always been fascinated with, with 